Jakob Ingebrigtsen losing. Do you think ultimately that matters or doesn't? Like on, on all these, I just want to know, do you think it matters towards the outdoor season or is it just a brief moment in time that happened and we'll look back on it as, all right, that was an interesting result, but it didn't ultimately influence the season. So I got a couple of them here that I want to ask you about. So one of them is uh, Jakob losing to, to Farah. Do you think that matters in the long run or doesn't matter? Um, I think it doesn't matter because a 1500 is just weird, especially indoors, like positioning can happen. And, you know, it's a March race when you really look at it, but it does matter as Josh Kerr mentioned to the competition, because now Jakob's going to be pissed. Right. And now he's, mm -hmm. he's not going to let this happen again. So it doesn't matter because I don't think it shows any sign of like Jakob is showing weakness i think mm -hmm. Jakob is just showing hey he, he wasn't planning on going undefeated for four years in a row like that just doesn't happen um, mm -hmm. i look at more of it's just a blip than a, a trend so it doesn't matter yeah i agree with you number one we found out afterwards he had covid he said he was feeling funny after the race so you don't know how much that impacted his race but two there was this narrative that coalesced around Jakob that he was just inevitable. That he had this this years long win streak and he was never going to lose. I mean, last year he got third in Monaco, right? He lost in the Diamond League final at Zurich. He had a great season last year. Don't get me wrong. Ripped that crazy five thousand, ran really well indoors, and then won the Olympic title. But the idea that he was just winning you know, have had this huge win streak was just, I think, us projecting what we thought he would be like in the future. So I think from that perspective, it ultimately does not matter too much that he lost. I do think, yeah, obviously Tefera puts himself in, in a good position. Maybe we, we consider him more of a serious threat like we do with Timothy Chariot. But ultimately, I think it wasn't as shocking as a loss when you look at Jakob's last couple of years and the fact that he was, you know, out there vulnerable. He's trying to push the pace. All right, let's go to another one here. 